Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So tonight we're going to be having a closer look at the brand new headlamp from Nightcore, the NU-43. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase your own Nightcore NU-43, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Let's begin with a size reference so you get a better feel for what the NU43 might feel like. So there it is next to a 9 volt battery. And let's turn it that way. Yeah, maybe this way. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. We'll turn it sideways like this. And that looks like it's going to pretty much sit on there flush there. Yeah, it looks about right. Yeah. Here's a reference height wise. Probably more more sideways like this. Yeah. Just the angle here. Oh, yeah, there you go. More like that. Just about right. So that's a pretty good size reference there. Alright, let's get it on the scale. Coming in at about 4.3 ounces. And that weighs almost as much as a full deck of cards. Alright, let's begin with checking out the available information on the box here. We have an 18650 rechargeable battery. It's decent, 3400 milliamps, good. Uh, about 116 grams. Oh, we didn't do it in grams. Alright, let me see if I got it on the right unit of measurement here. Grams. Is it going to zero? Alright, let's tear it. Alright, on the scale, coming in. About 122 grams. Oh, I wonder if they meant without the strap. Here, let me remove the strap and let's reweigh it. All right, without the strap, coming in at, ooh, 99 grams. That means this is something like 22 or 23 grams. Yeah, just about. And you can tell the fabric being used here is still stretchy, right? Nice elastic features, and it's a heavier, heavier texture. You can tell just by hanging on to it. If you've never seen these new Nightcore headbands, they're highly reflective, as we're going to see in a little bit. And you got a nice, consistent bead of silicone now running throughout the bottom for grip on your head so it's a nice heavy duty strap and the last bit of relevant information is 1400 lumens that must be on turbo yeah that's the max output you're not really going to be using turbo that often but if you want to use it it gets hot real quick but it is so incredibly bright as we're going to see in the field test all right let's take a tour around the nu-43 starting with your power button here on the right this also will function as your cycle through button mode button here on the left on the front, we have two white lights. You got your floodlight on this side and your spotlight on this side. They will only work on together. You can't turn them on individually, but it really makes for a nice beam of light as we're gonna see. This top light here is a red LED and on the bottom you have your optical proximity sensor. All right, just wanna point out something real quick about these lenses. We're gonna notice these little cones here on both sides. There's no smooth reflector. And that's because these are TIR lenses, total internal reflection, and these really help direct the beam of light in the direction that they're aiming at. Versus the smooth reflectors that have a lot of spill over the edges. So these lenses, really good stuff. If you flip the headlamp over to this side, we can see that there is a twist cap. Twist it over it will reveal the USB-C charging port. And yes, even with this twist cap, it is IP8 waterproofed, which means that it can stay submerged in three meters of water for 30 minutes. And the battery, that 18650 battery is not removable. Then if you hit the mode button while the lamp is off on the bottom, you have your battery indicator. And the last feature I want to show you is definitely an improvement from last year's model, and that is how the lamp can pivot or swivel. So last year's model had a hinge on the bottom and the whole lamp just kind of flopped over like this. But this year's model, there are individual clicking points that you can set it at. So when the strap is around the headlamp, you can tie that around a tree or whatever. And you can really customize where you want that beam of light to be aiming at. And that's about 150 degrees up that way. And 150 degrees down that way. That's a big improvement from last year's model. All right, let's have a look at the chart that will tell us how long your battery will last on certain brightness settings. So turbo, 1400 lumens. You're going to get maybe like 5, maybe 10 seconds. And it's going to get so hot, it's going to shut off automatically. High, 600 lumens, 10 hours. Mid, 300 lumens, 15 hours. Low, 100 lumens, 29 hours. And ultra low, 8 lumens, 165 hours. 
Then on the other side, we have the constant on red LED at 66 hours. This is important because this is the light you're going to use most often when you're walking around camp. So you're not blinding yourself when you're looking at something or blinding others. One of the things I've noticed that Nightcore is doing over the past few years is that they've really simplified the functions that they have on a headlamp. It's very simple, easy to control with just one finger. You don't have a bunch of modes that you got to worry about, which I really like. Let's have a look at those modes. All right, let's go over lockout mode just to make sure you don't burn through your battery inadvertently. So you're just going to long press both buttons at the same time. It's going to give you a little bit of a flash. And now you are locked out. That way it won't turn on accidentally. And of course, to unlock it, same thing. Long press both buttons. It'll turn on like that. And you just long press the power button to turn it off. All right, let's go over the power button. You're just going to long press it for a few seconds. The lamp is going to turn on to the low mode, which is at 100 lumens, mid, 300, high, 600 lumens. To get it into turbo, you're just going to double click from here, and there you go, 1400 lumens. If you single click from here, it'll go back down to high at 600, and then it will cycle back down to 100, 300, 600, and back down. Now, this does not have memory, so when you turn the lamp off, it'll automatically start back into the 100 lumen low mode. And when the lamp is totally off, if you double click from here, you're in that ultra low mode, eight lumens, 165 hour battery life mode. Over to the other side in the mode button. So if you just hold that down for a few seconds, you're gonna get your steady red light. And then if you wanna cycle to the blink mode, you'll click the power button. And if you wanna go back to the steady light, you'll click that again. And if you just want to turn it off, long press for a few seconds and it shuts off that way. Now, with the lamp off, if you double click the mode button, that's going to get you into your SOS and your beacon mode. So lamp off, double click. All right, then if you want to get to the beacon mode, you just use your power button. Now you're into your beacon mode. Or if you want to go back to the SOS mode, use that selector again. And to turn off, you just long press the power button. Easy operation. And the last thing I want to show you is how this proximity sensor works. All right, let me show you how the proximity sensor feature works. So let's say your lamp is on and you're trying to read a map and you're up here at 600 lumens on high. See how it's kind of washed out here? If you bring the map up to your face, the closer the sensor gets to the map, it automatically goes to low at 100 lumens without having to touch anything. So again, 600 lumens. It gets closer to the map, down to 100 lumens. Pretty neat feature. Welcome to the darkness, everybody. What I want to do is show you what the beam pattern looks like. Hang on one second. All right, there we go. We have a pretty decent hot spot in the middle here and a nice fill light from the flood on the side. But watch what happens when I cover up the left side. Okay, so the right side is the spot. Right, real defined hot spot in the middle here. But if I cover this up, you can see the light is a lot more diffused. There's no hot spot. But that's why a combination of both is a really nice beam pattern. Let's get it outside.
Well, all right, guys, this has been your look at the Nightcore NU43 headlamp. Really lightweight, shines in extremely bright light, and is extremely easy to use. If you're looking for a lightweight solution for when you're on the trail or jogging, this might be the one for you. Well, all right, guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase the NU43, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.